this is an art created for the battlefield therefore uh, this is a war art based on weapons so angam also has a spiritual aspect so it where we practice meditation as this as a warrior lifestyle and that goes uh, far beyond just fighting In 2019, a colonial era ban on the ancient Sri Lankan martial art form Angampura was lifted by the government. The fighting style was banned by British imperialists in 1817 to limit the native population's means of resistance and was thereafter only practiced in secret. Since the lifting of the ban, Angampura has come to be practiced more publicly and more widely. Guru Pumal Edirisinghe is the founder of the Sri Lankan Traditional Indigenous Martial Art Association, the singular goal of which is to protect the ancient art form by adapting it to a modern world. So some of the most powerful aspect of this art are buried with our ancestors unfortunately. So therefore I want to take this out to the open and give it to the opportunity to those who really want to learn the art. So practice it and pass it to the next generation that's that's the main objective that's why i formed uh, this organization like 12 years ago and also at stima our main focus is on bringing out the technical aspect by breaking some of the traditional barriers that has kept this art uh, secret from the world currently stima has two international branches in addition to several local ones both are in europe one in germany and one in switzerland Edirisinghe says they hope to open a branch in Southeast Asia sometime this year. Internationally, he says there is a sustained interest in lesser-known martial art forms, and Angampura has the potential to capitalize on that demand if it is adapted to become a ring sport. There are many people who search for less-known traditional martial art, like yeah, if you if you ask for karate kung fu. everybody knows about those kind of arts but there are a lot of hidden traditional martial arts so there are a lot of people are looking for it we already have a lot of interest parties coming here especially from europe uh, as the world is building up trend of going back to minimalization and you know mindfulness so this art has a quite lot of potential internationally but uh, yeah again as a ring sport we need to improve a lot in that area now we are uh, try to uh do some research and develop this art to a, art as a ring sport like uh, in future we want to fight our our fighters in mma ring adapting angampura as a sport that can be fought in a ring and in a tournament format will also increase the sport's appeal to younger people according to edri singha the main goal he says is to get angampura the global recognition it deserves as a sri lankan traditional martial art I think it should be important all of us as Sri Lankans to protect and make this art alive. This is a thousand of years old indigenous indigenous art and which is unique to our country and our people. So I think it's my duty to teach this to a new generation because this is the only way to keep it going. Mm-hmm.